Hey there, it's Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to be showing you all about sharpening. So let's get started. I have already done basic adjustments to this photo. Um, typically I like to, whoops, <laughs> trying to show you the before and after. Typically I like to sharpen in the beginning, especially if my photo's a little bit on the soft side, just to see if it's salvageable with the sharpening. But this image uh, straight off the bat looks really sharp. So I've done all of my basic edits and now I'm ready to put the final touches on. So we are in the develop module and I'm going to come down to the detail panel. And you're going to see this little preview screen and then the sharpening menu. Now I'm not going to be talking about noise reduction today, just the sharpening. So you can already see that my subject's eyes are in really good focus and it doesn't really need much sharpening, but we're going to apply it and I'm going to show you how to um, do a little bit more than just adding the amount. So basically the amount is uh, when you increase the contrast between pixels. So you can see how her eye is in really good focus and when I adjust the amount it gets sharper. So I can go all the way up and it gets really sharp. But as you notice as I increase the amount it gets a little bit grainy too. So for portraits I don't like to go past 90. It really depends on the lighting. If you over, or I mean if you underexpose and you sharpen a lot, you could end up with a lot of grain in your photos. Um, depending on the ISO, I had a really low ISO and you can see from my before and after my lighting was pretty uh, spot on, so I'm not going to have a lot of visible grain in this picture. So I'm going to keep it right around 90 and you can see, I'm going to zoom in, you can see how her eye is a lot more in focus now. But that's not where we end, so <laughs> let's go down each of the little um, sliders. So the amount is basically increasing the contrast between pixels. So you're going to just sharpen everything in the picture. The radius is how far away the sharpening is from the center of the pixel. So you kind of see, let me just adjust this. So the more radius that I apply, it's going to become sharper. And then the less radius is going to have, it's going to be a lot um, smoother. So for portraits, I keep mine between 1 and 2, really just depends. The default is set at 1, so if you go all the way down you're going to see that you lost some of that clarity. So the default's always good, you can adjust that as your basic needs go. Uh, going down to the detail slider, basically it just sharpens the finer details of your photo. So all the little fine intricate points of your photo, if I were to move this up, it's going to just sharpen it even more. So with a portrait, you're probably not going to want to step away from the default, which is at 25. Let me just zoom in and just show you if I were to go up, up, up seeing how we're sharpening everything and for portraits that's not always great and I wanted to show you this um, particular portrait because it's not just of a person but of an animal so you can see how that if I were to up the radius too you can see how much more sharp it gets but I'm just gonna click back to the defaults because I'm working with a portrait and I don't want this to get too crazy now for the last slider is the masking and this is really cool because this helps you see what's being applied um, to your image. So to do the masking I'm going to hold down my alt key. On a Mac you're going to reach for your option key and then you can start sliding. <laughs> technical term, I know. So you see how it starts with a pretty um, white image. Now the white you see is where all of the sharpening is being applied. I still am holding down my Alt key. 
if you're on a Mac, it's the Option key. And the more that I move my mouse over, the less sharpening is being applied. Now this is great for portraits because, especially when we're working with seniors and models and older um, subjects, whoops, I can't hover and um, move my mouse at the same time. So you can see in her eyes that her eyes and her lips are being sharpened and finer points on her hair are being sharpened, but the skin is remaining untouched. So this is really great because if I leave my masking here, you can see how there's a lot less clarity in the photo, but her eyes are, and all of the little details are being sharpened more. So if I turn this masking down, you can see how more is in focus, or more sharpened. So if I were to go all the way up, I'm going to hold down my Alt key, and you can just see what is being sharpened. So this can really add a creative flair to your photos if you just want um, these areas in your portraits to be in focus. And then you could go in with a sharpening brush and just sharpen all the little areas that you'd like, but usually I keep my masking right in the middle. So I'm going to press down one more time. See, I want some of that stuff in the background to be sharpened, and I like all of the fur and the cat to be sharpened as well. So this is a good, good range for this particular photo. So I'm going to keep sharp, or masking right around 50, and that is looking good. So you can see it before and after. Um, let me zoom in. It was pretty sharp to begin with, but we're not really sharpening that much on our face, just on the eyes, eyebrows, lips, and then the kitty's hair is being more uh, sharpened by this. So hopefully this little demo helps you understand sharpening in Lightroom a little bit more. Um, if you have any questions or want to learn more about Lightroom, go ahead and visit my website at www.tubelooms.com or just stick around my YouTube channel. There's tons of more information on Lightroom that I'd love to share with you. So thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you next time. Bye.